Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for joining me. Rebecca Morgan is Marketing Manager at GVG PLC, and I'm going to run through a few questions with you. They can be very quick answers, one word if needed, um, but you can feel free to expand should you like. Are you ready? Hi, uh, yes. Lovely to be here. Thank you. Okay. So first of all, what do you look for, Rebecca, when you're appointing a marketing agency? So I think the key things are communication and trust. So in that first instance, it's building up communication between each other, making sure that you're actually probably over communicating to start with so that everyone understands the key goals um, around, around what's, what's um, expected. And then the trust builds up over time. Um, and then as a result of that, kind of both parties can get a bit more, a bit less prescriptive actually in, in the goals to deliver because you trust each other to, to push each other out of um, those comfort zones. Perfect. And do you think marketing agencies generally in your experience have enough appreciation of what it's like being on the inside, being in-house in a marketing team? Uh, I must admit, I think it's always handy if someone in the agency has worked in-house because then they, they can um, appreciate the nuances of conflicting deadlines and um, different opinions. Um, but actually, um, again, it goes back to communication where as long as you're always talking, um, hopefully there shouldn't be any nasty surprises. Yeah, definitely agreed. Um, and what's the most rewarding element of your role in marketing? So I'm a natural problem solver. And so for me, it's taking um, different parts of the puzzle and being able to, I guess, uh, bring them together to show a much bigger picture. Um, and so when, when I see someone kind of seeing that bigger picture because of my efforts, that, that's, that's really super rewarding. Um, I think unfortunately, marketing still seen as kind of a necessary evil in many companies, um, and the result was always the first to go, but actually, um, that's great because it makes you really super resilient. Yeah, good. So that leads me on to the next question then. What's the most frustrating thing, would you say, about working within marketing? <laughs> Um, I must admit, not many things frustrate me. Um, I get a real buzz from problem solving. Um, and as marketers, we're dealing with people um, and we're not, uh, we're, we're fairly irrational, emotional beings, even if we like to think we're not. Um, so that, that's quite frustrating. But um, even in the B2B world, actually, especially in, in B2B, understanding customers' emotional and irrational drivers is super critical uh, because the stakes for them as buyers are higher. So if you make a wrong decision uh, for a, a purchase in your home, so a kettle on your sofa, that, that decision really doesn't affect anybody but you. But actually, if you're making that wrong purchase decision at work, your job could be on the line. And so it's our responsibility to give customers all the information they need to make that right decision. Very good. Would you recommend a career in marketing? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's so rewarding because marketing is so incredibly varied. You could take on so many different roles. You could be a generalist or a specialist. So everywhere from sort of product to customer experience to um, field marketing, design, op uh, digital operations. There are so many different aspects to marketing that actually it suits just about everyone. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> And what would you say, can you pinpoint one particular campaign that you would say has been the most successful campaign that you've been part of? I'm actually working on something that's really exciting at the moment. So it's a project across sales, product, technology, um, marketing, so the, um, the whole customer facing team. And it's it's a real shift in mindset for everybody because it, it's around social selling using LinkedIn and, and it's not something that we've typically done before. And so, the success of the project is really going to be based on um, lead generation through a, a medium that actually typically isn't um, uh, statistics and um, data driven. Okay, interesting. Look forward to hearing more. And if you didn't work within marketing, what would you say your dream job would be? So when I was younger, I wanted to be an astronaut, but maths was not my strong point. Um, but now um, I'm an avid property developer. So I absolutely love taking an old building, um, turning it into something um, that, that somebody loves and, and would want to buy. And so um, it's, a, it's a hard slog, but it's super rewarding. Oh, um, I about that then. <laughs> <laughs> well. Bit, bit different but then you can market it you've got the skills to market it and sell it then so perfect absolutely yeah it looks re links really nicely to marketing because <laughs> yeah. that's probably why i love marketing yeah. <laughs> it's, about, it's about um taking something that's completely unloved and turning it into into something then that, that's just not it's nuts and bolts it's it's kind of the bigger picture 
And if you could give just one piece of advice to somebody who's looking to get into marketing, starting a career in marketing, what would it be? Be brave. Take every opportunity that's thrown at you. Um, so there are loads of different aspects to marketing and so kind of try and dabble in each of those and you're bound to find something that, um, that you fall absolutely in love with, whether it's digital operations, um, uh, PR, what, whatever. Yeah, I agree. And can you name one business who inspires you? That's quite an easy one actually, so Disney. Um, Disney is just the best storyteller. Um, you, they, they take you on this journey and, and you feel exactly how they want you to feel at the end of that journey. Um, there's a quote that, that Walt Disney said and it's, um, whatever you do, do it so well um, that people want to, to show their friends and, and come back and, and, and show them kind of what you've been doing. Um, and that's exactly what they do. They, they deliver that experience so well and on brand that they, they're able to squeeze every opportunity out of their products. Oh, I love that. That's not an answer. Yeah, good answer. I like that. Um, and we all have days where we feel that we've run out of ideas, we've got no inspiration. What, uh, where do you turn to? What's your go-to for clear mind, get your ideas together? My garden. I'm an avid gardener. Um, <laughs> and so that is my, that's definitely my happy place. Um, just the act of putting on my wellies um, calms me down, gives me space. Um, and, and great marketing needs space. And my garden gives me that. Oh, brilliant. Um, last question. You've nearly survived. Um, what do you think? <laughs> what's the biggest change you've seen in marketing in the last 10 years? Great question. Um, I think it's the shift from marketing being an art to a science and actually needing to report on all of the data and the analytics that go behind a campaign. So not just relying on gut feelings anymore, although they are still very valid, um, actually having the data to back up what we're doing. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you. You're done. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too painful. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you taking your time out of the day to go through these questions. It's fascinating for us because um, we work with lots of different businesses with people in your position, but um, we always try and make sure that we've got the best understanding of what it's like to work on the inside as well as agency side to ensure we're getting the best results for clients. So it's been a fascinating insight. Thank you very much. I'll um, let you get back to your garden. Thanks, Jane. <laughs>